When you pick up a microscope, use two hands, one around the arm and one under the base, and then carry it to your table and gently set it down. Now I'm going to remove the dust cover and kind of put it over here out of the way. And then I'll plug in the microscope. First of all, I want to point out some of the lenses that we find on the microscope. On the eyepiece, we have the ocular lens that has a magnification of 10x. Then above the stage here, we have this revolving turret that's called the revolving nose piece. And as you can turn this, and you can select different lenses. These lenses are known as objective lenses. And the first lens here is called the scanning lens, and it has a magnification of 4x. Turned it to the next one, that's the low power lens, and it has a magnification of 10x. And turn it to the third lens here, um, that is the high power lens that has a magnification of 40x. Total magnification is ocular times the objective. So if I have been uh, selected to the scanning lens, uh, 10 times um, 4 is 40. Okay, if I turn it to the uh, low power lens, that's 10 times 10, which is 100. And if I turn it to the high power lens, uh, that is uh, 10 times 40, which is 400. Now, I also want to point out a lens that is um, under the stage, too. And this is a um, lens that's called the condenser lens, which focuses the light to a point, you know, where your object is on the stage. These are the two uh, focusing knobs. This large knob right over here is the coarse focus adjustment. And when I turn this, it moves the stage a lot. Now, right in front of it is a smaller knob that's the fine focus adjustment. I turn that, it moves the stage a little. Now, this is very important, you know, for focusing. These are parfocal microscopes. What that means is that when you first start out with putting the slide on the stage, that um, when you have it on scanning, use the coarse focus only. Then, when you move it to subsequent lenses, the uh, low power and the high power lens, only use the fine focus. Now, how about uh, putting a uh, slide on the microscope? So what I'm gonna do is I wanna make sure that I'm on the scanning lens. Uh, that's the red one over here. And I'm going to get a slide, and I'm going to pull back the stage clip and gently uh, slide that uh, slide into place. And I can manipulate my slide by these knobs here. This knob will move it you know, right and left. This one over here will move it uh, up and down. And the other thing I want to make sure, and make sure you do have this on the, um, the scanning lens, I want to use a coarse focus and make sure that uh, the stage is all the way up position. Now, these are parfocal microscopes. What that means is that if you start out with a scanning lens, focus with the coarse focus, but then when you move to the um, subsequent lenses, the low power and the high power, only use the fine focus, okay? So let me show you how to do that. Now remember that I have my station all the way up position and I have it on the scanning, so what focus knob am I gonna use? Well, the coarse focus. So I'm gonna look in here and I'm going to uh, turn this until my image comes into uh, focus. And now I see it in perfect focus right now. Now, I move it to the next lens, which is the low power lens, but remember these are parfocal microscopes, so now I use the fine focus adjustment. So I'll turn the fine focus looking in here until it comes into perfect focus. Okay, I got it in focus. And if I go to the high power lens, I'm going to uh, 
you know, turn the revolving nose piece and put the lens into place. And again, I'm going to use the fine focus. And now my image comes into view. And that's basically how you, um, you know, use these microscopes. Sometimes the illuminator appears not to work. One of the first things you check is if the microscope is actually plugged in, and that has happened to me before. Then also, after it's plugged in, make sure that you have it turned on. And there's an on and off switch someplace on your microscope, even if it's not in this particular location. The light intensity dial is on the side, and sometimes it's too low, maybe set on one, and no light will show through. So then you need to change that intensity level by turning the knob and making sure that that's not your problem too. All right, a lot of times a student will think that the microscope is not working and I'm going to ans answer some questions that are frequently asked. One of them is the light is on here and my illuminator, but I don't have any light coming through to my eye, so I can't see anything in the microscope. One thing that might be wrong is that the iris diaphragm is closed all the way. And you can see that there's no light coming through when the diaphragm, iris diaphragm is closed. So that's one thing that could be wrong. One other thing is if the nose piece is not clicked into place with the objective, then again, no light will come through if it's in between two objectives. So you have to make sure that you hear that click when you turn the revolving nose piece. Another thing uh, that sometimes is an issue is if the view is blurry. Sometimes, of course, you haven't gotten it into focus. But then another thing that could be wrong is that your slide is dirty. If your microscope slide is dirty, that's also going to cause some blurry, blurriness when you're trying to see it. So what I suggest is that you take some optic lens wipes and gently rub the slide. Be careful not to rub too hard over the specimen, but just around the edges, and that will take care of, should take care of any of the smudginess that's on your slide that would cause you to have a blurry vision. When you're using the blank slides for some reason, then sometimes they come out of the box and they're blurry too. So you can again use these wipes to rub the slide. And be careful while I'm doing this, or while you're doing this, because while I'm doing this, it is very sharp. The slide's very sharp. So you want to make sure that you avoid touching the sharp edges in a way that would be harmful to you. And then the slide is ready to go to make a wet mount. When you've done everything you can to make your microscope work, if you still have trouble, put a red tag on it and we'll take a look at it for you. Take one of the red tags that will be located in your lab, right on the blank side, what specifically seems to be wrong with your microscope. Use a twist tie to attach the tag. And then affix the red tag to the ocular tube on your microscope. Make sure it's going to stay on, but you don't have to do it tightly. And then once you put on your, once you put on the dust cover, I will still be able to see that there's a red tag and I need to take a look at something. Reminders for returning your microscope to the cabinet. Turn the lamp off, allow it to cool, unplug your microscope, remove the slide from the stage, Turn the scanning power back to the original location. Move the stage to the higher most position. Make sure that your stage is centered. Neatly store the electrical cord when you're finished with that. Pull the dust cover over and then carry it with two hands back to the cabinet, making sure that you don't bump it into the other microscopes that are already in the cabinet.